What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, starting today off a little bit slow, it's like I think two in the afternoon. Didn't really have much planned for today. Uh, it's pretty pretty dark outside. Let's go see what everyone's out here doing. Buddy's out here typing. What were you doing up there? You were typing, huh? Are you, you good? You good? What's going on, bro? Hey, buddy, give me your ball. Give me your ball. Give me ball. Why would you put it back? There's Actually, a dog no, we out here. It. We don't put it back. No, it's not. It's dead. Under the... I don't know. It's not in the back. What are you doing? What is this guy doing? He's just laying in the pool. He's lounging. Get that out. Buddy. 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 Get it, dude. Get it. Get it, boy. Get your ball. Get your ball. All right, girls. Watch him back on over uh, my mom thinks that she's an artist <laughs> and uh, she's like using these like tea tables that we already had hold on you guys look a little dirty she's using these tea tables that we already had and she's like adding like our like our like our team's logos to them and we have like four or five different logos for the family because you know not everyone's you know Packers fan Steelers fan whatever but uh so she's using the already used tea tables and she's glazing them with a logo on them, Vikings, Packers, Eagles. And that's the glaze all over the floor. So you, I guess you could say she's really harnessing her inner, inner artiste. And then uh, she decided to give a, uh, a nine-year-old a can of spray paint. <laughs> and uh, she's been painting this table it was brown, it's now yellow and brown. And our house looks like we had tryouts for how to become a damn graffiti artist. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> like, wh like what? Well, let's just spray paint the yard. Look at all these cans of spray paint. Oh. Okay. Any uh, words about your just artist abilities? Lots of abilities. I'd like to be flipping houses right now. I'm not talking to you. Right now. <laughs> I just showed them all your your pro Everyone that's gonna watch this video, my millions of subscribers. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, I told them. It is incredibly hot out here in Florida. Ooh. Oof, if you guys don't live in Florida, you are not missing much. Let's jump back inside. It is. What? I'm coming in. How's your foot? How's your foot? How's your foot, bro? <laughs> Little backstory. So I showed you guys all the chemicals my mom is using outside to paint the tea tables. And uh, instead of putting on gloves, she's been, you know, soaking her hands in chemical and injuring herself. I don't know why, but so she's had to run inside like 10 times and every time she did, she'd bang on the door. One of us would have to get up and help her. So like the 10th time she gets up, Liz runs for the door and let me show you. Buddy has the gate there. Sometimes we gate him off when people come over cause he still likes to jump and he's like 75 pounds now. Anyways, door hit the gate, gate fell on Liz's foot, resulting in Liz to rage at mom and slam her door and actually break her mirror and her calendar fell. Or actually, I think that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like folded over the, mm -hmm. the board. Enlighten us with your, with your abilities. Sex assigned at birth. I believe I'm a female. That's really a thing on college applications. Sex assigned at birth. Okay. There you have it, folks. I'm a male and she's a female. All right. Whew. You're like the opportunity in every way and shape and form. Liz, I'm not really walking around right now, but. Were you here when mom was talking to me and she walked in the door and she said, 
Hey Nick, <laughs> come try my hairy fruit. I was asleep. My, mind blown. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, I was like, okay, we don't really need to talk to each other anymore today. But what she meant was, let me jump over to the kitchen. What she meant was, she got these fruits at the Spanish <laughs> fruit market. Look, she already knows. She already knows what she said. <laughs> oh, there they are. You can't miss them. They look like a like those balls you get from Walmart and you throw them at people. Like little bouncy balls. And anyways, I'm gonna cut one open. Only time one second. All right, we got the hairy fruit set up. It's um, it's kind of like. Let me um, focus. It's kind of like this fruit that's like obviously hairy, how we call it. I'm not really sure what it's called. We got it at this place called Fancy Fruits. Let me show you guys what it's like. I need to peel it apart one sec. It's like a, uh, it's like a grape in the middle, if you guys can see that. Like a sack, basically, but it feels like a grape. It doesn't really have any kind of smell, but it does. It has a, uh, has a seed in the middle of it. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. I hate eating on camera. Oh my god. It tastes like tastes like a green grape, but with like less sour in it. Well, no, it's not zoomed in. I'm just getting better. It tastes like a green grape, but it's not as sour. Ugh. But um yeah, have you ever got a couple bucks and you're at like a weird fruit market? They're called Harry Fruits. I don't know the actual name. This is what they look like. I'm gonna eat this. Maybe go see what Buddy's doing. Scratch that, not running outside yet. I, uh, you're from the south or I think up north. No, I think it's definitely a southern thing. Boiled peanuts. We, uh, we do, I believe an overnight soak for like 12 hours. And then we keep them obviously in the water. We use Old Bay as the seasoning. Put them on high for beef, pretty much between like five and 10. We've had them cook at different rates before, which is kind of weird because we always use the same crock pot. Let me see if it's soft yet. This is gonna be really hot, so I need to wait a second. Need a few more hours, huh? Let me see if the peanuts any. No, they definitely don't look. It's almost like these ones didn't get soaked, like the peanuts like dry. Hmm. Alright guys, definitely been a few hours since I picked up the camera. It is going on 8.43. The fight starts in exactly three hours. I gotta roll out now, pick up a bottle. Head out to Steven's house, his parents got the uh, the fight on with the projector and got some wings going. So let's jump right into that. Just made it to Steven's house, you guys can't really see me, but I'm gonna go say what's up to everybody. I'm gonna leave the bottle in my car, cause I think everyone's up back and I don't wanna lose track of it. Hey, some light dough. Comment down below who you guys have in the fight. Like if McGregor, comment if you got Mayweather. I got McGregor personally. All right guys, it's been a few hours since I've been here. There's something on my lens right there. Uh, Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor up next. We're currently watching Fonseca versus Davis. Chilling in Steven's room, we've been doing some shots. I think we each took like four or five. They prepping, they prepping. Let's go McGregor! A few moments later. All right guys, so it's currently second day and I either didn't pick up the camera last night or I definitely don't remember, you know, not hitting record because I don't have an outro. So here it goes. If you guys made it to here in the video, uh, please click that red subscribe button, turn on my post notifications, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. This was like a peek into my 
life. It wasn't like a vlog where like you set up like a schedule and you go do this, this, and that. This was just kind of jumping all around what it's like in my life. If you enjoyed the video, you know, give it a big thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you.